Hello and welcome to an introduction to VS Code extensions. One thing that you might find, especially when you're first starting out with VS Code, is that um, it has really awesome features in, built in with the IntelliSense, but sometimes those features don't translate all the way through to other files like HTML or CSS, or maybe there's just added functionality that you had in an extension with either Sublime Text or Atom that you also want to try and recreate with VS Code. That's what this video is going to be for. So we're going to be talking about our top three VS Code extensions that we think any developer, specifically web developer, should have. Um, the first one's going to be uh, prettier, so a code formatter if you uh, need to support a reformat for files that VS Code doesn't do natively. And so we'll give a pr pretty brief walkthrough on what that is. So David, can you tell me a little bit about why this HTML document is not formatted correctly? Wow, that, it really hurts my soul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so we use indentation to give us clues about what's nested inside of something. So yep. for example, all these meta tags and the title tag, we should have a visual indication that those are nested inside of the head element. Yeah, just to be clear, that was a rhetorical question, but <laughs> yeah, it hurts my soul too. But the uh, editor, VS Code, is going to let, let us fix this. Let's say that we had um, a project that, for whatever reason, is like 100 to 200 lines long and all the formatting is messed up. And you don't want to go through and find the tags specifically and nest them and hit tab to fix it. You can just hit, uh, you just right click anywhere in the file and select format document. And VS Code is going to automatically make that so much better uh, and more easily maintainable and readable for you and other developers. Now, the extension Prettier will do this, but it will do it for things that, see, that VS Code don't, doesn't um, natively support, at least not yet at the time of making this video. So as an example of that, if you go into a CSS file that is just completely styled incorrectly, I, I can barely even read this and it's just two rule sets. Um, so if I right click here, I don't see that reformat document option in this menu. But what I can do is I can rely on the vast extension marketplace to do this for me. So I'm going to go over here to the panel here, the last icon here, and if I hover over this, it's going to be extensions. So I'm going to click this, and I've already searched for the prettier extension here. And so if I install this, it's going to install this extension. It should only take a couple of moments here. But while we're here on the screen, you can see that it's been installed almost one and a half million times. It has a rating of four and a half stars. And so this gives you a good indication when you're looking at these extensions that it's maintained, that it works, and that it's not something that is gonna screw up your editor that makes you uninstall it and you know runs into issues. Like this has been vetted by the community and it should be safe to install. It's also gonna pull in the readme for this. So it's gonna tell you how you can do this. So we're gonna use the command palette to format the document and it should start reformatting things like CSS files that are not natively supported with VS Code. So I'm gonna reload the browser or the editor here. And now when I look in the CSS file, first of all, you're gonna be able to see the extension installed here in the extensions pane. And I'm gonna hit Command Shift P to bring up this command palette. And it's already gonna tell me that this format document was recently used. So I'm going to select it and there you go. Now we can easily read and maintain this CSS file and we didn't have to adjust the formatting at all. Now the next one that we want to talk about is the, um, it's going to be an auto tag for the closing tags and opening tags for HTML. So auto rename tag. I'm going to just search for that in the marketplace. It should only take us a second, and I'm gonna just select this, and again, 500,000 installs, four and a half stars, and you can see what this is gonna do, automatically rename paired HTML tags. So this is a feature that was in the original Visual Studio uh, integrated development environment, but it has not yet made its way to VS Code natively. So if we install this, I'll show you exactly what's gonna happen. First, I'm gonna show you what happens currently. So what this is going to do is it's going to, if you edit a opening or closing tag in HTML or XML, it's going to make the 
um, the couple tag automatically the same thing. So right now I can make this body tag body one and that's going to break this document. But you know, if I have just a slight typo in these tags, then it's not gonna match anymore in the opening and closing tags. Have you ever run into any issues with that before? Um, not, not like that, but I have had situations where uh, it just gets an, it gets tedious when I want to change a series of like H twos to H ones yes. or something like because then you have to change the start and the closing tag. Yeah. So now that we have this extension installed, we reloaded VS Code. Now, if I start retyping this, let's let's see. Just add. Like I, I'm going to change this div to a paragraph. So all I have to do is select this text here, and boom, both of these tags have been changed. So that is extremely helpful, um, and it's a very lightweight extension to boot. And then the final one is going to be HTML and CSS support. So this is one that I particularly like because I am a big fan of relying on CSS libraries and frameworks, and I know David is as well, instead of having to write my custom CSS. Luckily for us, this extension will allow us to implement both custom and uh, remote style sheets with this extension. So if I just search HTML, CSS, support, it's gonna be this first one. And again, just make sure this is the right one with the number of downloads and what the features are. So this is going to allow us to, while we are in our HTML document, see what classes we have available to use as attributes for whatever the HTML is. That will make a little bit more sense when we actually go to use it. So reload after I install. And just in general, you can see how quick it is and easy it is to create, install these extensions. Um, VS Code has made it very easy to do this by building this search uh, in the extension marketplace right into VS Code. So now that I've done this, let's see, I want to import the uh, remote style sheet for Bootstrap. So I'm going to do that in the user settings. And if you don't know how to do this, check out our other video for editing the user settings for this. So I'm going to do CSS and I'm going to go down until I see remote style sheets. This is going to create an array so I can import remote style sheets in the settings. And I'm going to do a Let's see, you think you can get the style sheet up real yeah. quick? Yeah, so I've already got it pulled up on my computer, so I'm just gonna copy it here instead of going to a different window. So HTTPS, max CDN bootstrap cdn.com slash bootstrap 4.0.0 CSS bootstrap dot min dot CSS. So this is going to allow us to access the bootstrap classes in our IntelliSense for this HTML CSS support. So what does that mean? Let's say I want to add a class to this paragraph element, but I don't know what class I want to add. Typically you'd have to either have that CSS file to look at to know how to spell it correctly or what class you specifically want to choose or you'd have to go check out the documentation with Bootstrap. So what is the command? I don't remember right off the top of my head. It should be uh, control space, I believe, but I just wanna confirm that really quickly. Yeah, control space. And as soon as you hit that inside of this class attribute, you're gonna get an option to add all of the classes available to you in Bootstrap. So you can see in this IntelliSense that this is pulling from the Bootstrap CDN style sheet. And let's say I know that I want to add padding, but I don't remember the exact utility class that I want to add. So now I can just type P and it's going to give me all of these padding utility classes right here. And I can just go down and choose the one that I want to do. This is also really awesome when you want to do something like, um, I don't know what's something you use pretty often with Bootstrap. Uh, padding, margins, uh, uh, uppercase, um, bold. Yeah, so 
uppercase is one that I use quite a bit, and I don't know if it's sometimes uppercase text or text uppercase or just uppercase. But with this, same with, with uh, yeah, same with center. Yeah, with center. So it's like, is it text center? Is it a line center? Um, and then so you can just automatically sort this without having to go back and forth between the documentation. So if I wanted to, uh, if I know that it's something with text, then I can see um, the center class or the capitalize or justify. So I'm gonna center this text. And now if I import the bootstrap CDN into this style sheet or into this HTML rather, then I know that this paragraph element is gonna have center text. So those are the three extensions that we highly recommend installing pretty much right out of the gate if you're getting started with VS Code. And um, you know, if you have any that you really like that you're already using, let us know. Or if you know there's something that you would like to see, also let us know if there's an extension that you'd like us to explore. But um, that's pretty much it for now. And until next time, catch you later.